Hi folks, Head Golf Professional Tim Harris talking to you about the 2019 Modernized Rules of Golf. Uh, today specifically I'm going to talk about a little bit of a better clarification of the penalty areas here at Pelican Sound and actually it's a little bit of a retraction from one of my earlier videos and I'll explain why in just a minute but if you remember in one of my previous videos uh, penalty areas at Pelican Sound were going to be defined as red stakes and red lines just like the old um, hazards would be and also by uh, where the turf where it's maintained at grass height rough height fairway height meets a uh, natural surface that is not maintained by natural grass so I'm standing here right now on the left side of sound number eight very close to where I was in the original video and you can see here that um, the way we were trying to uh, make the local rule of Pelican Sound would be that this would be defined as a penalty area in here because of the fact that the grass is not maintained at fairway height or uh, rough cut height. Um, now I've had numerous and extensive conversations with the USGA since then um, because as everybody knows and hopefully you do know under the new rules of golf you can ground your club in a penalty area you can remove loose impediments in a penalty area so it was with that thought that we made this local rule the only problem with that and this is a perfect uh, example as you can see here if my ball was up against a concrete cart path such as this which is deemed to be an immovable obstruction um, or let's say it was a irrigation box or something like that under the the local rule you would not be allowed to get free relief from this cart path uh, very simply because the USGA does not allow free relief within the confines of a penalty area. So upon, you know, further thought, um, I, I think that's a little bit unfair. I mean, I'm here on the left side of sound number eight. If I hit my tee shot up against the cart path, I should be allowed free relief. So going forward, and again, I want to just say that it was something that, you know, it, it was only decided through talks with the USGA uh, with uh, members of uh, the golf committee um, we are going to deem any penalty area here at Pelican Sound only by red stakes or lines okay so if you see a red stake you see a red line that's a penalty area if you do not see a red stake or a red line it is not a penalty area so therefore I could play this under the option of getting free relief so if I hit my tee shot up against here or you the golfer hit your tee shot here you can take this ball and lift it and you get one club length uh, complete relief. So what you would do is you would take your stance here. You can measure one club length from the area of where your club is going this way. And then you can drop at knee height and the ball would be in play, okay? So you can go ahead and you can take your complete relief from the cart path. Now, just real quick, if you hit the ball into the grasses here, the ornamental grasses, and let's say that the ball is in there and you can't play it. Previously, we were saying that that would be defined as a penalty area and you can drop out here. Well, now if you do find it, got in there pretty deep. You can take an unplayable lie from here. So an unplayable lie kind of works the same way where you get the um, two club lengths out from where that ball went in, okay? You can either keep the flag up there between where it went in and go all the way back, or you can just do the two club lengths no closer to the hole under penalty of one stroke. So where the cart path is free relief, this is one stroke relief. Now, if you hit it in there and you can't find it, okay, let's say the ball goes in there, and for whatever reason it gets lost and you can't find it now it's considered a lost ball and if you remember in one of the previous videos also the lost ball rule is that you can take the ball once you get a replacement and you can go parallel out into the fairway okay and at the edge of the fairway you measure two club lengths and you drop the ball there and that's under penalty of two strokes okay so you still have options even though we're not deeming this whole area as a penalty area you either have the unplayable lie option if your ball is in one of the bushes or you can if it's lost you can go out to the fairway and under the lost ball out of bounds rule that's now in effect as a local rule 
you take two strokes and you go out into the fairway and drop it. Okay, so uh, going forward, you'll see red stakes and red lines. That defines the penalty area. Very simply put, if you don't see a red stake or a red line, do not consider it a penalty area. Other than that, if your ball is lost in one of these shrubs that are all throughout the golf course, one of these um, palmettos or ornamental grasses, whatever you want to call them, you have the option of the unplayable lie. Okay, or if it's lost, you can do the lost ball option down to the fairway. I hope that clarifies things for you. Um, if you have any questions, you can always give me a call. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, I just wanted to make sure everybody sees this and is aware because we're getting close to some of the major tournaments coming up, member, member, uh, Pelican Sound Cup. And then once we get into January, uh, we want to make sure by January 1st, once the transition happens into the new rules, that we are all squared away 100%. Thanks for your time, everyone. Look forward to hearing from you. Let's have a great season.